me about this story I heard about how a cleaning lady helped you purchase a 15 unit apartment building. Yeah, so one of our first commercial properties that we bought it was a mixed use building in Hamilton. And so a few of the offices had hired a cleaning lady. So obviously in coming in and out of the building, I would I would see her often and, and she she tended to be someone who, you know, liked to talk a lot and make conversation. In one of our conversations, you know, it actually started with, hey, do you know so-and-so has this building, you know, at the corner, they might be willing to sell, do you wanna check it out? And it was one of these heritage style properties that looked like it would never come on the market. We found out that it, you know, it was 15 residential units. Immediately what I said to her was, stop doing everything. Please put me in touch with them right away. Shortly thereafter, we had a call set up with the property owners and we were lucky to kind of get into negotiations before this went to market, ultimately structuring a deal that we were probably not overly prepared to take on at the time, the capital we had. But because we had a little bit of goodwill with, with our cleaning lady, having a relationship with them and us kind of being neighbors, they did work with us on structuring a VTB and uh, ultimately allowed us to kind of get into a brand new space of real estate investing, all because of the word of mouth and the relationship that, you know, kind of created with the cleaning lady in our building. Lesson for me always is that now more than ever, I realize the people and the relationships in your network are equally, if not more important to building a team and resources and connections to get you access to different opportunities that might come up uh, for new property or helping you with your existing portfolio.